you guys. So, um, I took a poll and there was talk about NFP, there was talk about testimonies, and you guys want to hear about NFP, so I'm coming to you as the NFP expert. Just kidding. I don't know anything about it. That's also a lie. Okay, we're gonna roll now. So people always ask like, why should I practice NFP? What it like, why? And I'm like, okay, um, do you want a healthy marriage? And they're like, yes, okay. If you look at the divorce rate between um, NFP practicing couples and then non-NFP practicing couples, it is drastically lower. So a healthy, happy marriage is 100% proven through those that practice NFP. And then two, um, people are like, well, you, you can't have sex as often. If you're practicing NFP, like you're not able to have sex as often because if you don't want kids, then you just can't have sex, right? And it's like, no. <laughs> There are times in a woman's cycle when she's like 0.01% capable of having a child. So no, and there have actually been studies that show that people who practice NFP have sex just as much or more often than those who do not. So, just letting you know those little facts before we get this thing rolling, because if those don't convince you to practice NFP, then maybe this stuff will. Where are my directions in here to talk about this? Because I am not, these, these are just all charts. These are all charts. Help. Okay. All right, this is not helpful. Ah, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna preface this video by saying that I and I'm not married, so I'm not practicing NFP within like a marriage yet, um, yet. But you shouldn't wait until you're married to practice it, so stay tuned for that. And I also am just now starting to take courses in depth on it. So I've always known what it was, I've always had an idea about it, and I always was really excited and like, everybody should practice NFP, it's great! But I didn't actually know the steps or what it really encompassed until um, probably this year, honestly. Maybe some of last year, but... So this is all pretty new to me, but as I was talking about it, it seems like it's way new to everyone else. So, I thought um, I would take it upon myself and really kind of share with you guys um, what it's about and what NFP even stands for and why everyone should practice it because it's the best thing in the world. NFP stands for Natural Family Planning um, and that sounds, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> that just sounds scary because then you're like, okay, but like I'm not trying to plan a family so why would I practice NFP? Like that's no, thank you. I do not want kids. I am 21, 20, 19, whatever. But it's so much more than just family planning. Um, so when I have been to talks about NFP, um, a lot of people, married couples, use it to not only conceive a child, but they also use it to um, not prevent because you're never doing anything specific to prevent life or procreation because ultimately, okay, Real quick, little tidbit thing in there. Sex, point blank, was created for unity in marriage, procreation of life, and lastly, pleasure. So if it's not all three of those things, then you're not using sex for what it was intended for, which is like a totally different conversation we can have. But if you believe in all three of those things, then NFP, like, hands down, that's what you should be, like, practicing in your marriage or in your regular daily life, um, because when you use condoms, when you use birth control, when you use any sort of um, contraceptives, it's contraception. It's against receiving life. And so you are literally putting a physical barrier, a man-made barrier, to prevent life, which is the purpose of sex. One of the three purposes of sex. And so, that is why everyone should practice NFP because you aren't using any specific man-made thing to prevent, prevent life because that's not in your control. That should not be in your control. Life and when, when you die and when you're born and when you're, that should not be in your control. That is in his control and that is solely in his control. And once you, if you believe and understand that, then I'm just so pumped to tell you about NFP because that is what this is for. So it basically it teaches you to 
learn why your body creates certain um, temperatures, mucus gland, <laughs> vaginal mucus. I know that is like so awkward and like cringy to say, but I've gotten so used to it now because like I'm taking these classes. So I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I get you. I know what you're talking about. But if you've never heard that word before, you're like, what? Why? Why? Why did she just say that on YouTube? Like that's so awkward. But it's not because it's real. If you're old enough to have sex, we're old enough to talk about it. Okay, there it is. It shows you signs about temperature, vaginal mucus. It shows you, um, or it doesn't show you. Your body shows you these signs, and then you learn how to chart it, and you learn what each of those different things mean. Because when progesterone, progesterone progesterone, I don't know how to say it right, I always say it wrong, and estrogen, when they are fluctuating, your temperature fluctuates. You probably didn't know that because it only fluctuates just a little bit, but when you start charting it, you see, like, oh my gosh, yeah, and based off of the signs that your body gives you in each of those cycles, that is how you know when you are most fertile and capable of conceiving a child, and when you are less likely to conceive, and so if you are trying to use NFP to um, prevent prevent because you are not physically stopping any life but when you are trying to do it when there is less likely of a chance you can do it because you know how your cycle works you know when your body is most capable of conceiving and when it is not and so that's a way to use it if you are like okay we're not ready for a child yet we don't really have the means but if we are going to have sex we are open to it we are not physically stopping it but we are also doing it in the smartest best way, if that makes any sense, <laughs> and then if you, obviously if you want a kid, you know when you're most fertile, and so you know when your chances are best, you know when your body is best prepped and ready and like so stoked to like bring on a new life, and NFP helps you do that. NFP also helps you know if your body and your cycle are actually irregular or if hormone levels are off. Um, because there's like a normal cycle and what that should look like and what temperature should look like and when your body should be secreting different glands and mucus and all this stuff. And if your body's not doing that, then you can be like, oh my gosh, this is why we're struggling with infertility or this is like, I'm lacking in this hormone, oh my gosh. And then you can take it into a doctor who knows what an NFP chart looks like and who understands how a woman's body works, which is like great if all doctors could do that, right? Um, but you take it into a doctor who understands what an NFP chart is and they can tell you, oh, hey, you're lacking in this hormone, so we need to get you on these pills in case, like, progesterone pills. So then we can build up your progesterone levels again to how they're supposed to be normally. And then, after a month of that, after you go through a cycle of that, you have a better likelihood of conceiving. So it's, it's just, it's so great! Girls and guys should be doing this together. In the sense of, when you're going, when you're prepping for marriage, so this is something Avery and I are learning and taking on together because my fertility is, in a sense, his fertility. If we want a kid, he has to understand how my body works, what the charts say, and when we can conceive and when we can't. So this is something you should be doing together. And what's incredible about it, guys, like, we talk about wanting men to know us, like, truly know us. And we can have these conversations and, like, talk about our past so they know our childhood and they know our personality and they know what chocolate we love. But when they literally know how your body works, like, like the female body and how it was created and designed and how it works so perfectly and intricately, they know you like in a way you've never been known before. And it's insane. And you get this like, there's this new level of like intimacy that the world, like you can't get anywhere else. Like you cannot find that level of intimacy anywhere else. Sliding on a condom, that's not, what, what's that gonna do? Okay, cool, you, ha you can have sex, so you're, Unitive? Sure. Procreation? No. Pleasure? Sure. I wouldn't know, obviously. But what level, like, so the intimacy stays on the bed and that's it? Or wherever you're having sex, like, that's, that's where the in intimacy ends. Like, there's no, that's it. That's not it with NFP. Like, yeah, there's sex, but then there's all this knowledge, too, of just knowing you. And it's like, Girls, if you want to be known and truly, truly known <laughs> and to like go through this with him, your future spouse, your spouse, whatever, like, oh my gosh, like I don't, that sounded really Southern, I heard it, I know, but like there's nothing else that 
There's nothing else. If you guys have any questions about NFP, I am clearly new to this. I am like just starting to seriously embark on it. Um, but there's apps that you can use that kind of... I use Clue. Um, and it makes you track all of your symptoms, um, your acne, um, your vaginal mucus, your <laughs> appetite, your moods, your any of that sleep patterns. And it tells you when you are most fertile, when you are least fertile, when your period's expected to come, blah, 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 blah. So it kind of sheds light on NFP. But I am new to the whole charting and like the like in-depth NFP. But if you have any questions about it, or if you want to learn more, or you're like, hey, I don't know how I feel about this, or like something you said really irked me, like it's fine, I get that all the time, it's no big deal, we can still be friends. Um, but I like, I want to help, and I want to share this with you, because like obviously it's like really exciting, and I love it, um, and I want to talk to people about it. So yeah, hit me up, and then you can also slide in the comments, and you can slide in my DMs on Instagram, and I'm going to link in this bio, um, in this video's bio, I'm going to link um, Couple to Couple League, which is what Avery and I are doing. It's an online course, so we can do it from distance, and it's this couple through video that teaches you how to chart, how to learn signs, what each sign means, when estrogen is high, what that means, when progesterone, progesterone, whatever the freak you call it, is high or low, and what that means. Um, and it's awesome. It does cost money, but any knowledge and education costs money. So, invest in what is important to you, and if this is important to you, that's how you can get a hold of it. So, yeah.